Coming up, our exclusive for the World Cup winner. Find out why the NPL's top goal scorer is off to Brazil and WA's football community kicking goals to help out in the Balkan flood crisis. Hello, thanks for your company. Welcome to this special World Cup edition of Football 360. Well, we've gone to the other side of the planet to bring you this exclusive story. He's won a World Cup and was a goal-scoring hero in the 1981 FA Cup final. Argentina's Ricky Villa has done it all, and he shares his story with his former Tottenham teammate, Perth's very own Paul Price. <laughs> You won the World Cup in 1978, yeah. which must have been well, the pinnacle of anybody's, yeah. you know, dreams. Yeah. But you scored one of, well, if not the best winning goal in an FA Cup final <laughs> in 1981 against Manchester City. Did that come anywhere close to the joy you felt from winning the World Cup? Yes, uh, I win in the World Cup, but I not play many games really. So uh, I lucky to have the medal. I only play two half time. But the best moment for me was 81 because I play, I, I score in winning goal. Is okay. I'm very proud from 78. Yeah. But my best moment was in 81, really. So I'm going to ask you sort of a very difficult question it's about England's chances in the upcoming World Cup. They're in a tough group with Italy, Uruguay, and Costa Rica. How do you think they might go? <laughs> very difficult answer, but I expect in. It's, the first game for me is the, the important game, you know, it's against Italy. I say England win that game, maybe get confident, you know, and start from there. But for me, the, the England, England national team is, is not strong because the league is so strong and the club don't care about the national team. So uh, coming in second, in second part of the game, but England have great history in the, in the war, around the, the war, so I expect in at least going to the last four, you know. You think they might get to the last Why four? Why not? Why well, not? Well, yeah, no, let's hope it's, so. Who is going to win the World Cup? For me, Brazil is a, is a team, you know, because uh, they don't feel the pressure, you know. They just go into the pitch and play, and I, have a, I believe they have a good team, and the crowd behind, uh, I expect in going to the final. In the final, everything can happen, but my, my first choice is Brazil. Brazil. This Football 360 is from uh, Perth in Western Australia. Have, uh -huh. you ever, have you ever been there? Never, never. I hear about Australia a lot. So you yeah. know, everything, everybody says it's a great place. So I waited for an invitation to visit Australia. Yeah. Well, Ricky, you've got an invitation to come to Western Australia. Lovely. I'm looking forward for that. Well, yeah, and I'm very cheap rates at my it. house. I take it. I... <laughs> <laughs> Ricky, great to see you again. I know for you're, on, well, you're on holiday well. from Argentina. Yeah. I've got to say, you're one of the best guys I've ever met in football. I agree with you, yes. <laughs> And a huge thanks to Ricky, Paul and his brother-in-law Ron for making that story happen. On the next edition of Football 360, we chat to another Argentine legend. Well, keeping with the South American theme, from Argentina to Brazil, Balcada are aiming to emulate their 2011 league success through the goal-scoring prowess of their Brazilian star, Gustavo Caraccioni. He joins me now. Gustavo, you're equal ranked uh, on the NPL goal scoring sheet alongside Perth's uh, Ashley Rosendale with nine goals. First of all, what's the, uh, what's the secret to your goal scoring form this year? Oh, well, first of all, it's no secret, you know. It's just been working hard, trying to play with each other here and just be happy. Obviously, it's a new club. You take on Bayswater this weekend. Surely uh, you'd be feeling even happier if you'd be able to uh, put a few goals in the back of the net against your old club. I would be very happy to score against Bayswater, you know, but getting the three points for Balcada, that's all that matters now. You're sitting third in the ladder. Do you think that uh, Balcada has a good chance of uh, taking out the league this year? Yeah, sure. We just need to keep working hard and keep doing what we're doing and try to win the points. You're off to Brazil, not for the World Cup, but for another special occasion. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, I'm actually getting married over there now. Um, that's a big call. I'm with my missus 80 years now, so it's about time we're getting married, you know. So what's your fiance's name? Tammy. Tammy. Yeah. All right. And well, tell us, uh, share your thoughts with Tammy here on Football 360. Not in English, Gustavo, because I know how much you love speaking English, but in Portuguese. Off you go. 
Tami, eu te amo, a gente vai ser muito feliz junto. Um beijo. Sounds like I love you. Well done, Gustavo. Good luck with the wedding and good luck with the season uh, with Dakar. Thank you. Basically today is uh, about raising awareness for the Balkan floods that have just happened recently. It's just devastated the whole country and we thought what better way to bring people together than by playing football. So what we've done is we've created a five-side tournament consisting of 12 teams. Also a bocce tournament because we all know the uh, older Balkan boys love to play bocce. Also got a bit of a bouncy castle here for kids, just make it family orientated. All the funds today raised will be donated to the Balkan floods. Coburn City Soccer Club so nicely given the facilities to us for the day. So I really want to thank them for doing that. The support's just been incredible. Sometimes it takes a disaster to bring people together and just to see everybody of different ethnicities coming together and just raising funds for the same cause. It doesn't matter what nationality you are, where you're from. It's just, you know, people coming together and you can see it today, everyone's smiling. You know, it's a beautiful thing, I think. And that wraps up this special World Cup edition of Football 360. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to tune in to our weekly NPL highlights show. We'll be back again in a fortnight. Until then, it's bye for now.